I believe it's going to be that way. And it's interesting the way this matches up against the Ember Spirit, because it used to be that... You what is this? Well, he has well, 10,000 games on Dark Souls. Uh, oh, we Scabble. need to talk, buddy. He, he's, he's practiced a lot. I don't think a lot really covers it, Liz. Jeez. I mean, I know there's a requirement as an offlaner to know how to play Darks here, but that's taken to the extreme. So we're in this match, and the thing I was going to mention is kind of interesting the way the Wind Ranger matches up against the Ember, because it used to be that this lane was pretty Wind Ranger flavored. Uh, favored flavored. flavored. Wind well, Ranger yeah. flavored. She's I mean, cut into pieces, right? Because of the Flame God. You just cancel out with a good power shot, right? Yeah, but at the same time, a long time ago with Ember, you could just go with poor man's shield, and then you wouldn't really care that much. Right now, you don't have that... Uh, you don't have that option for yourself. But now the focus on the build is the Sly of Fist, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can actually just spam that out, that's kind of usually the counter to Wind Rangers, these type of heroes that trade effectively yeah. because she has such a small HP. Point. Exactly. So you, you, you might be able to do that as Pika on this mid lane, definitely. Uh, we'll see, though. Shaker and Batrider, one of uh, old school combinations of that on that off lane playing versus the Nikes right now, who is alone. Someone most likely will join him, but it's not truly even that necessary as he's completely capable of uh, laning against these two on his own but i believe usually what you want to have going for yourself is uh, like a lane in which you provide that nikes with some just a little bit early on right you, you provide him with some help early on and then he's just completely fine afterwards yeah because of course especially early on you want to try and get a few points up maybe you get hands on quick phase boots then you can defend yourself and move away and it's also begins. you have to time use your rage pretty well it's a decent sized cooldown and immediately afterwards you're going to get spammed out so you want to try and trade with the bat rider in that window and if he's alone he can't really do that there should be a fissure block that will come out from the shaker the good old classic Slow things down. On the top lane, we see literally the same thing like in that. And that was a good game. old classic, yeah. Yeah, but uh, this one uh, isn't taking really too much damage while Tusk is. No, yeah, he didn't start with a stout shield because he was being greedy. You can see actually the gold he's got. He wants to get quick boots, but it's a lot of damage done already. That's a whole lot of damage, and this creep wave was not killed by them, which is also uh, not that great. Quite problematic. Yeah, but uh, this one is one of those heroes, just like Troll. He, he starts with 69 damage, 7 armor under the tower. Like, he's completely capable of farming underneath it. So, it, it, like, usually when you're doing this, and you're doing it versus someone ranged like Traxxas or, or, I don't know, Gyro, it, it, they're pretty much done. They can't last it. it it's very difficult, right? I mean, you can, obviously, but it, it's problematic. When you do it versus Nike, Sven, Troll, they're fine. They, they don't really care too much. Well, mid is looking pretty even so far, and level three should be quite revealing. I expect him to likely go for the second point in the flame guard, just because of how easy it can be to sidestep the power shot, especially if you're on the creep wave because of the reduced damage. I think Ember should actually be completely fine on this lane. I don't think uh, Windrunner. It, it, it's I the mean, other way, if anything, that you can potentially kill the Wind Ranger. We'll see exactly. We'll see how Cupid plays it and how Pika plays it. But uh, the truth be told. As, I mean, I haven't seen Cupid play for a while as he hasn't been in many teams, but um, like he isn't a mid player, so we'll see if he can handle this Ember. So far, when it comes to CS, he's doing all right. 8 CS on the Wind Ranger, 7 CS on the Ember. Does have a 9 in his favor. Meanwhile, life still at only 5 2 compared with the 10 1 of Sven. So Sven clearly having a much easier time. We said it was a little bit worrying how much they were going to leave him alone. While Chen has been here occasionally. It's not really that big wham combo with the Divine Favor we were talking about. And actually, puts are going to be dope. There we go. Rage forced out. And this is the awkward part. Once you use that Rage, you can just reset, stack up the Napalm again, and all of a sudden, Life Stealer can't hang around. Haste. This is a little bit problematic. Shake with a haste now. If they can actually get in good position, they could easily turn this into a kill even without the Firefly. Mm, uh, very unlikely, is, yeah, to be rage honest. Cool again. Rage on cooldown, and these heroes are pretty tanky. You, you can't really do a whole lot here. Chen coming in with the level 4 Hellbear, it, it's pretty decent. You give, get the 10% magic resistance on heroes, so it, it can work out well for them public. Uh, won't work out for Shaker. Public, go. Careful here. They won't pursue this though, because they just use the Rage, they're where the Firefly is available again. However, Siri is practically out of mana at this stage, because he can pop two more Napalms, then he doesn't have enough for Firefly. I, I, think, I think they made a mistake, but 
Let's see just what Luft is doing on mid. Luft, actually, Luft on German. He's trying to uh, actually gank here. He's got level 2, he's holding a point. He has got the tag team, but... Yeah, he's not going to do anything, it seems like. And the mid lane is pretty much equal. Once again, 15 CS on Ember, 15 on on the Windrunner. But I want to talk about this offlane. I believe uh, it would be much better for um, Shaker to rotate somewhere else. And then you leave this bat rider to creep skip as they can't really uh, stop him. Uh, Chen alone can't really do a whole lot. So if Bat Rider just creep skip level 3 right now, uh, I, I believe that would be much better for them. Just take the creeps, lead them to the medium camp, farm the medium camp and the creeps. Instead you're fi fighting into a Nyx. You can't use na na Napalm on him as he's, you're just giving him sticks. As you can see this Nyx is always 100% HP. And now with the Ghost they might even oh. kill him. Yeah, that's a lot of slows coming out. Sarah's going to try and retreat. The problem with Firefly is you cut yeah. the trees as you go. The first blood is drawn. The Shaker did go back to base. Yeah, the, the Ghost is definitely Ghost and Harpy are possibly the best creeps that you can get early on. The, the small Purger guy is also good. I believe he picked him up right now. No, he picked up the... Yeah, he's got the yeah. small one. Yeah, he's got the small one, so you have the Purge for Sa Sayori now too. Fighting up against Papa Big Boy here because he can't get his hands on the Unholy Aura creep yet. So the Shaker is doing the right thing, rotating mid, but Bat Rider is not, as he's still bottom. And now with the Purges and the oh Slow, boy. once again, he's going to fall, it seems. He doesn't even have Firefly. There, there is a Shaker, again, And it's too late. He's going to yeah. go down. Shaker, way too late to assist. And even if he reveals right now, Luft is moving across. And he's still holding two points. Yeah. He's level three. I believe what he wants to do is take the bounties instead. Uh, at the same time, on the top lane, Darkseer is being dove and, uh, well, he is diving very far in. And this is exactly what I think Batrider should be doing too. So he should be playing this game, in which he makes oh. them go for him. Okay, shake it. They dove him to the tier 2 that time. Mm -hmm. He revealed, and yeah, they went for the two points in the tag team. I was expecting to get that kill just in time for the runes as well. And I think the other problem there is you brought your spend between that tier 2 and tier 3. And the question is, for what? What did you really achieve with that? Because it just kept him away from farm for like a good 20 seconds. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want to be doing as, as Darkseer. That was my point. On the other hand... Uh, okay, they're going in. They're going to actually find two kills. The rotation coming out from Cube. Yeah, 5-0 this time around. Uh, the laning stage went much better for the Spanish boys in that last game. Uh, this game, however... Germany is just completely dominating them. Um, I believe they just set up this lane wrong. And that th anyone that watches Pro Dota right now or plays high high skilled pubs knows that. Uh, Batrider should be between the tier 2 and the tier 3 even. Not showing up on that lane and then Shaker should just rotate across the map. But uh, yeah, they, they, they had some difficulties there definitely. They didn't set up that lane properly. They tried to play the bat into the Nikes and they failed. But that's honestly how it should go like Nikes versus Batrider is always Nikes favorite it's a mirror matchup when you think about it, with the Shaker and the Tusk and what they can achieve in ganking mid and other lanes yep. and then on the side you've got the Dark Seer and then on the other side you've got the Batrider they do want to mirror those movements and that's literally a comparison is the mistakes made by Spain you can see them not being made by Germany as Dark Seer has been between that tier 2 and tier 3 the whole time meanwhile Bot Rage activated, Puerto did go in, needs to actually back away here. They might try and turn around. Spectre Blast, is Ember is porting in. As well. Gonna slow him down with the Shaker's Fissure, but Puerto is quick off the mark with the Fissure's not quick enough haste to slow him down. Though. They're gonna go in with the Haste, the Flame Guard as well. They've got Rage in two seconds though, I don't know if they have enough damage for this. There it is, we just Rage off and run away, TP out. They waste their time, Spain unable to connect with that rotation. Also those sticks helped him out as the Napalm was being stacked on him. So he had extra amount of sticks to heal himself up. He definitely would have escaped anyway, even without the sticks used on him, but yeah. And now mid, there's a push in. Luft is waiting behind the tower to see if anyone TPs in. They don't quite know about this right now. It looks like the tier one will fall, and that is a big sacrifice that Spain have given up at the seven minute mark. This is a big issue. Chen is level five and one quarter. Uh, when you look at Tusk, he's level almost four. He has medallion and boots. These supports can do so much already. They're, 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 this Chen is literally turning into a core, and you have the Tusk uh, with level 10, you get, well, you don't have to go for 90 gold. You can go for the experience, but still, these, these two supports on the side of Germany are definitely doing a lot, while the side of uh, Spain, they're just reactive, right? Th that's all they're doing. They're reacting to the movements of Radiant. I mean, they're not even necessarily reacting that well. Like, they show up mid now for no reason. I'm not saying they're reacting well. I'm just saying they're reacting, at least. 
but um, yeah, there, there are some issues on their side at the moment, definitely. But they're not really alleviating the issues because you saw the movement up to towards top. It was read correctly by Sven, but the difference is, yes, he did just get his Midas. On the other side, however, Lifestealer, not at his Midas yet, but it's more the pressure is being applied to the Sven, whereas Lifestealer is left to his own devices. It's the thing that uh, Nikes went for phases into Midas and Sven has only Midas. So when you check the network, they aren't really that far away from each other. You know, actually Nikes is the one on top as he got a couple of kills too. It's about the total of items that they've got. And yeah, sure, that Midas is going to help the Sven versus the Chen creeps too. But right now, even if when you bring that uh, Sven there, those creeps are stronger. You can't even fight into them. And Winter Wyvern level three, only level two. Spinter Blast, he can't deal with that either. I think it's on Ember to create most of these movements. There's definitely still chance for Spain to come back into the match. I mean, it's early on. It's it's not even minute 10. But they have to change some, some things. They need to rotate multiple heroes on different targets. I believe they have to forget about this Nikes. Uh, he has his Midas. I mean, he's go going to have his Midas and you can't really even kill him. You can't stop him. The best way for you to play right now is to play around the Darkseer and the Windrunner and try to take them down. Especially the Wind Ranger, because he's, sec he's second in net worth right now. Like, Cupid is having a very easy game up to this stage. Yeah, getting that kill on her would be, like, so good for Spain. And the problem is, it's, just, it's, it's this power of Chen at this stage in the game. Look at this, they've already taken out all the tier ones. Meanwhile, Spain, they've barely tickled any of the towers belong to the side Survivor, chase oh, with the rage. Open wounds on him, means he's going to die. And actually, Pikachu end up as well. The Invis Rune will be used just to walk away. He and can't hang around. No dusts around. So no, but they don't care. They just burn for a tier two in a matter of moments. And they also burn through his flame guards with the iron shells used. They might just keep going here. I, there's nothing stopping them. Four creeps already on Chen. <laughs> All right, snowball in. They're looking on a Sayori, and the rage activate as well to make sure there's no threat. And they're getting with the power shot. He is down. They're going to turn around, force a remnant out, trying to retreat with Luft. He doesn't have a snowball to protect himself. But now Pika, the true one, retreating. One more remnant just to get into the base. That means he's got no remnants to work with. He's That's quite barely, possibly. barely survives. But his tower has no to run. The tower can't run into the base, the tower can't run to the fountain to heal up. So it's gone and now the Raxes are also falling very quickly. And if he comes anywhere close, he doesn't have a remnant for 15 seconds. They're aware of this, they saw him use all three. Luf does have the snowball, but they just want to get the Rax to get away. Gold Strength activated, Sven trying to move in, hand of God to try and keep the creeps up. And oh my God, Sven! He might actually die this rate, the snowball across and get the kill! He's gone for 30 seconds, trying to move in the Shaker, but it's not a level 6 Shaker, so no Echo Slam opportunity. They just surge and chase them away. They'll turn around, Lassie used, but no, Battle Rider's going to die to the Iron Shells here. He'll go down, Rage activated, looking to wave as well, going to run him through. And this is looking pretty grim for the side of Spain. Pika does get one remnant back up to run away, but that's not really how you want to be using it. Yeah, this might be the Blitzkrieg from Germany right here as this game is looking <laughs> almost done 10 minutes in. Well, they can't get the other lanes. That's the only good news for Spain as they still have tier twos remaining. Snowball in. Oh, they're going to just turn around to Pika. He doesn't have a remnant still. A stun coming out. Buys a little bit of time, but they're going to keep on chasing forward. Actually, he's the walk right and move forward. Sven going to be netted up here. Stun comes out. Chen power shot through. Taking half of his age people. I shot to block him in right now. Perts so chasing forward onto him. Golden Brace to save his life, but now he will save the rest. They have to retrieve the Shaker. Still in level 5. And they'll finish off the Sven. He's dead again. Fissure comes out into 2. Snowball forward. Shackle shot won't connect to anyone. That's a pretty deep snowball. And the remnant up again. Pika, I don't think this man has used a single aggressive remnant the entire game. They're just playing inside of their base and not backing out whatsoever. Not even for an inch. Uh, you can see that, okay, with the port from the Windrunner, perhaps they're going to go back. But still, if you if you are dire, you can't, you can't punish this. It's quite worrying. And now they're going to move in. Oh, Shackle shot long range. Sayori, they slow him down. The tag team does enough damage. Pika, that's another defensive remnant. This Ember has had no relevance to the game. The power shot through. They swatted him with the help. And now they're going to move in. Slowing down Pika. He needs to retreat. He won't find there. a kill in the Luft. Instead, he's going to be the one who maybe dies here. Cold Embrace to buy a little bit of time. God Strength activates. Stun comes out in the dark here. There is a snowball, though. They'll buy their time. And they'll roll straight forward. They want to kill off Pika. They can't quite get him yet. Oh, no, they're going to turn around. Sven, he gets himself some kills, but he might go down from this. The shackle shot held him in place, and now they need to get everyone out of the base. I mean, it's they, about damn time that I, they run out. I mean, they were they were getting away with so much. They were pushing their luck, and they'll finally be punished. Wind Ranger lassoed up. They'll try and run him through. He does have the Wind Run to work with, but he can't use it. The Siren Chains enables the kill. And he didn't buy that Mitchell Hammer before dying. He died after shame on you, Cube. Such a bad, bad I mean, move. it's not like he was doing anything else that whole time other than being just lassoed on La the spot. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, because <laughs> everything they did so far is just so good for them. There is 
Like, I, Look I don't at the know. Chen's net worth! 10k ahead, Chen has Helm of Dominator. What what else does he have flying over to him? Is that Mech full, maybe? No, Vladimir's. Oh, maybe. he's going for Vladimir's. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, blame him. So he has full Vlad's and Helm of Dominator 13 minutes in. I mean, these supports of theirs have done so much. And that's what happens. I, I said that Dar was playing a reactive game. They weren't even reacting at some point. And uh, you have a Midas on, on, on Sven without power threats. I mean, obviously you're going to lose every single fight. You just don't have damage on that side. Oh, Chen has been found. Uh, they move in with Wind Ranger pretty aggressively as they do TP her in. And now the Shackle Shot coming through the Power Shot. Gonna burn through the use of the Imba. And now they're gonna try and turn around. Wind's Curse comes out and they'll kill off Pika. They actually don't care about Luft. They kept Cup out of range the whole time. Yeah, once again, the Ember falls so easily and he only has a Javelin. If you check the network, that Ember is below Chen. It's he's, pretty pathetic. He's 600, 700 gold b below oh, Chen. Oh, Snowball! Sven, they stop him! Attack team to slow him down. Warcry being used, but he's blocked off with the shards and he's dead! And they're gonna can keep they anyone else? Yeah. They'll surge up. They'll turn around. They say, actually, just hit the tower. Let's go for the base, guys. We want this game over soon. You know, we had to go for a restart, so technically this has been quite a long game. Technically, yeah, it's like one long game if they manage to, put, uh, okay, to go high ground right now and then it is. Uh, that, that was an interesting shaker fissure. Didn't even block them off. Yeah. Didn't buy any time. Should be at least a tier 3 tar going down. Sven is up in 10 seconds, but what can you do with him? A remnant being thrown down already by Ember means he's got one left over. Warwick's punch gets down to half HP. He's losing a lot of health here. He doesn't have a far away remnant either. One more hit would have done it. Power shot. Fight, power shot through. They won't find him, but they will find the racks. Range 1 already down. Shaker on the side has Echo Slam, but no way of getting in. They're just healing so damn much it's from ridiculous. everything because and, of Chen. And look at Luff, another Shaker shot through, power shot, they've lost a Shaker. Now Lassu trying to do enough damage, but Chen's still alive. Snowball gets him out of the Firefly. He's going to keep on retreating. He might burn up in the end as Batrider is pursuing this all the way to his death. Now Sven, Sven. low, cold embrace by him a little bit of time, but sets up a beautiful power shot from Cube. And now moving across with the tag team, Traffy blocked in. Already used the burn, can't fly away. It's a triple kill for Cube. Buybacks come in. He doesn't have the win run for a second. Nice vacuum. Shackle shot didn't connect though. He needs to move away from Pika. Pika with the remnants forward. Looking for the kill, but no, the win run him. keeps him out of range. It's a drive by. Ultra kill, Ultra kill already. Rampage. He might be able to get the rampage. He's moving in the pass shot through now. No. It's going to be Perzo. Perzo. He gets the foul hit. Perzo. Greedy put. So he needed to get his armlet, he says. That's not yeah. true, and he knows it. He, he says sorry. Oh, you see? They're going to try and move. It's like, high five me. GG. Tusk wants it, but the GG comes out. They nurse over. Echo slam to say congratulations as the first best one goes away at Team Germany. Yeah, this was a very, very one-sided game from the get-go. I believe the way they set up their lanes is the thing that hurt.